everyone and welcome to another grammar lesson okay as you have seen in the last lesson we explained the simple pass with the regular verbs okay today I want to show you how to deal with the irregular verbs and by the way I need your textbooks okay so please pen copybook and textbook whether it's visa window or outlook it's whatever you use okay because we are going to need the last page okay which contains the list of irregular verbs okay so please I need full attention with me full concentration okay so let's start if I ask you what do you do at the weekend and by what do you do at the weekend you mean activities so what are the activities that you usually do at the weekend so let's see what do we have in here go shopping do homework do housework watch TV maybe go to a party play football visit grandparents sorry eat in restaurants so you may do these activities at the weekend now let's see what do we have in here asthma activities or asthma's activities last weekend it's not the present time it's the last weekend so let's discover together what she did last weekend first she said I and my brother went to a wedding party in Rashidia. We took our new American friends, Sarah and Jess, to the ceremony, the wedding ceremony. Three, we ate typical dishes, typical dishes, and we danced a hegus. It's a traditional dance in Morocco. Number four, Sarah enjoyed the party and Jess found it an interesting. Five, she had amazing moments. Six, our American friends, she said, our American friends liked the landscape, the place, the environment. They stayed in the city for more days. The American friends, Jess and Sarah, stayed for more days. My brother, Adam, left his mobile, his telephone, his mobile phone in the wedding party. So these are in general the activities that Sarah or that Asma did last weekend. I need you to take a worksheet or a piece of paper and try to answer these questions. The first one is when these or did these activities in here take place? <coughs> Sorry, and by take place I mean happened or occurred. Okay? Two, try to underline with different color, underline or just write them the verbs in the sentences above okay so we underline or just write them aside okay so let's start with the first one when did these activities take place so if i ask you this question when did these activities take place what do you have in here asthma activities asthma's activities last weekend so asthma in here she's telling us what she did last weekend okay then let's move to number two so when i say the last weekend in here it's the past it's the past time sorry it's the past time then number two we need to underline or circle the verbs in the sentences above i'm gonna start with the first one she said i and my brother went to a wedding party in Rashidia. So what is the verb in here? That's it. The verb so is the, the, the verb to, to go in the simple past and we say went. Two, we took our new American friends, Sarah and Jess, 
to the ceremony. To the ceremony. And we say the verb is to take, which takes the form of took in the simple past. Three, we ate typical dishes and we danced a hedus. So the verb in here is ate, which is the verb to eat in the simple past. Four, Sarah enjoyed the party and just found it interesting. So what do we say in here? So the verb is the verb to enjoy with an ed, which we have seen in the last lesson, is the form of regular verbs. Five, we had amazing moments. We had amazing memories or moments. The verb in here is the verb to have in the simple past. And we say had. Six. Six. Our American friends liked the landscape. Our American friends liked the landscape. And we say in here, the verb is to like. The verb is to like. In the simple past, we say liked. The verb is the, the verb to like in the simple past. Excuse me, we go back to number three in here because we didn't finish our sentence. We ate typical dishes and we danced a hidu. So the verb in here is also the verb to dance with the ed, which is the form of the past simple also. Seven, we pursue number seven. They stayed in the city for more days. The verb is to, is to stay in the past and we say stayed. Number eight. My brother, Adam, left his mobile in the wedding party. So the verb in here is the verb to, to leave, to leave with E, A, and not live. It's the verb to leave is a long vowel in here, and we say left in the simple past, okay? So those are in general the verbs that we have or that these sentences include, okay? So I want you to read these examples in here and try to find out the past simple form of these two verbs in here. So we have like and we have enjoy. Like and enjoy. Quickly, I want to read these eight sentences for you. So please pay attention. Number one, I and my brother went, which is the verb to go, went to a wedding party in Tangier. We took our new American friends, Sarah and Jess. We ate typical dishes and we danced. Sarah enjoyed the party and Jess found it interesting or uninteresting. Number five, we had amazing moments. Six, our American friends liked the landscape. Seven, they stayed, they stayed in the city for more days. Eight, my brother Adam left his mobile phone in the wedding party. So I have in here two verbs to start with. The first verb is like in the infinitive form. The second one is enjoy also in the infinitive form. So what do we say in here? In order to make the simple past, the first one is liked, and as I said before, this one in here, this verb is ending with the k sound. So we add ed to say liked, okay, because it's ending with the t sound, liked. Then we have enjoy, we have this verb in here which is enjoy, enjoy, and we say in the past enjoyed enjoyed okay so as you notice both are common they both contain ed as you still remember from the last or the previous lesson whenever you have ed in here is the simple past with regular verbs and by regular i mean verbs that they have the same 
the same form in the past, of course, in the past, in the simple past tense. Okay? So let's see what we have in this next chart. We have two examples, two verbs, take and go. Take and go. So I need you to put these verbs or to find out in these texts or these statements the simple past form of these two verbs. Sorry, these two verbs. So we have take and we have a go. So what do we say in the first one? So in the first one, we have it in the example number two. We say took. The simple past of take is took. So we took our new American, we took our new American friends, Sarah and Jess, with us. Go, the verb to go, we say went, went. So when I say go, in the past I say went. So this is the form of the simple past of go in the past time or the past tense. Okay, so I need you to study the following examples and try to fill in this chart, try to continue this, uh, this structure in here. The first example, we arrived home late. We arrived home late and we have a full stop in here, sorry. Number two, our American friends liked the city. Our American friends liked the city. So we need a subject plus what? Let's see what we have in example number one. So we need to have a, the subject pronoun is we plus. What is this in here? That's it. This is the verb to arrive. This is the verb to arrive. So I have subject plus verb, okay, plus ed. The verb to arrive plus ed in order to make the simple past form. Next example, our American friends. This in here is the subject pronoun plus like ed. Subject pronoun verb ed to make the simple past of regular verbs. Simple past of regular verbs. Let's see another example. We went to the party. Full stop. I have this statement in here. We went to the party. Subject pronoun. Where is the subject pronoun in here? As you noticed, the subject pronoun is we. Okay? It's a plural form. It's a we. Then I have went. Do you still remember what is went? That's it. It's the verb to go in the simple past tense. Thank you. So, it's verb in the simple past. As you see in here, so we change, we don't have this form anymore. So we change, so we have irregular verbs, which means that verbs that are not normal, they are abnormal, okay? So subject plus verb in the simple past, okay? So in this case, I need you and I insist, please, so try to Find this list, it's at the end of your textbooks, okay? It's a list of, it's a limited list of irregular verbs because you are going to need it in the simple past with the perfect tenses, okay? So try to focus, try to learn it by heart, okay? Let's do a short or a quick exercise in here. Quick exercise. Yesterday, my mom, Subject pronoun, between brackets, I have the verb to make dinner for us. Make dinner for us. So we need to put this word in here, this verb, into the correct tense. So what do we say? If you go to the list, please, I insist again, go to the list to find the verb to make. And we say, is a is made. So it's an irregular verb and we say yesterday, past expression, yesterday my mom made dinner for us. Two, Morocco and we have the verb to gain. What do you say? So Morocco gained, gained with ed, 
the independence in 1956. In 1956. This one in here is a, a regular verb. The last one, she, and we have the verb to write. So what do we say? She write last year. It's a past expression. So she, she wrote. Instead of I, I have O. So I turn this I into O to say she wrote a book with another time expression of the past last last year. Last year. Now, in order to make the question form, we have done with the positive. Okay, so let's see how we make question form. So let's study this example. Did you have an English or did you have English or English lesson or English class yesterday? So how do we make the past form? So let's underline the right or the correct option. Positive, negative or question. So what type of sentence is this? What is the type of sentence? Of course, it's a, a question. It carries the question mark okay it carries the question mark and we say question did you what is the subject pronoun this in here is the subject pronoun and this one in here is the auxiliary do in the past tense okay in the past tense and we say did you have plus verb in the infinitive form and we say did you have english yesterday answer it's a long answer in here. No, we didn't have English yesterday. It's a negative form. So let's underline the option. Positive, negative, question. Of course, it's a, it's a negative with no. And we say, no, we didn't have English. So no, subject pronoun plus didn't, which is did, not as a long form, didn't as a short form, plus verb, and this verb should be in the, sorry, should be in the infinitive or the base form, English yesterday, okay? English yesterday. So in the negative, as I said before, in the negative, subject, didn't, verb, subject, plus, didn't, plus, verb. The USA didn't invade Morocco, we didn't go to the party. Then let's have this quick or short exercise. They, I have not, plus study. The verb to study. English last year. So what do you say? Not study. I didn't study English last year. So let's do the second one. We have not plus the verb to, to take. The students not take a test, quiz. So what do you say in here? Students, the same auxiliary, it's a didn't take. And I keep the verb as it is. The students didn't take a test. Students didn't take a test. Did you have a good day? So let's ask your brother, ask your sister if she's or he's next to you. Did you have a good day? Did the patient visit the doctor? Okay, and let's use the, the simple past form. Did plus subject pronoun plus verb version of the subject it's did subject pronoun plus verb and by subject pronoun i mean i you he she it ahmed aisha etc so all subjects pronouns plus or did plus all subjects pronouns plus a verb in the infinitive form in the infinitive form so let's revise in here what we have seen before just we recapitulate in here so Concerning the positive form, I say, 
with regular verbs, it's a verb plus ed. It's a verb plus ed. We arrived home late. The rule is subjects regular plus ed. As I said, irregular, you need to check the list. Okay? And by the way, you need to learn this list by heart. Okay? You need to learn it by heart. We move to negative form. And in here, the auxiliary did interferes to make the negative form. And we say, we didn't stay with them. We didn't stay with them. The rule is as follows here. So we have subjects didn't plus verb. Subjects did not as a long form, didn't short form, plus verb in the infinitive form. To make a question, to make a question whether it's a WH question with what, when, where, who, etc., or the inversion of a subject, okay? Direct questions. It's an exchange between A and B. Let's read this example. Did you enjoy the party? B. Yes, we did. Or no, we didn't. Yes, we did as a positive answer. No, we didn't as a negative answer. With WH questions in here, what did you do? What did you do last weekend? It's a WH question with what. So what did you do last weekend? The rule is WH question or word plus did plus subject pronoun plus verb and the question mark in here the question mark okay question mark so i need you to copy this exercise sorry needed to copy this exercise in your copy books okay take your time copy this exercise and try to fill in the blanks with the right word in the correct tense okay in the correct simple past form it's a dialogue or conversation between asma and pamela Okay, so try to fill in the blanks. You have eight, eight blanks or eight gaps using one of these, one of these verbs in the simple past form. In the first one, Asma said we, and in here we are going to use the verb to have. So we had great weekend. We had great weekend. Pamela said, really? What did you do? Number two, we went. We went to Rashidia city. So it's the verb to go in the simple past. We went to Rashidia city. Pamela said, wow, I was there last summer. Another time expression. I was there last summer. Question in here, did you to Osis? So what do you say in here? We are going to use the verb to go again, but in here, it's in the base form. Do not conjugate this verb because it's a question. It's a question with the auxiliary did, okay? And we say, did you go to Osis? Asma said, yes, we did. We went to this. Pamela, yes, that's it. It's a large, it's a large and it's large and awesome. It's large and awesome. Who did you go with? Asma, with our new American friends. Pamela, did you buy? It's another question in here with the verb to buy. Did you buy anything typical from there? No, she responded and she said, no. We didn't. Short answer, negative form. No, we didn't. I wanted. I wanted. I wanted. It's uh, with T in here or T sounds. So I say I wanted. I wanted to buy dates. I didn't have enough time. Pamela, why? She said, Asma, we visited visited it's another t sound so pay attention to the pronunciation please so it's visited our uncle's family they had a wedding party they had a marriage or a, a wedding 
party. Oh, good. Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy another question form with the verb to enjoy? Did you enjoy it? Yes, we did. Positive answer. Yes, we did. You know, or sorry, yes, we did. You know, we danced. We danced. It's ending with s sound and we say danced. It's pronounced and we say danced. Ah, hey, dus. Pamela, oh, the traditional dance. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I hope you get the lesson in here. So try to uh, uh, revise or try to learn the list of irregular verbs. Okay, try to learn as much as you can of them. And see you in the next lesson. Thank you.